Hello guys, Shreesh here. So I got these couple of requests from you guys about making a video on what's on my Android phone. So at first I thought, no, I shouldn't really do that. But it's a rare sight that I get requests from you guys. So I just thought, you know, I should just make a video on it. Besides, I was kind of running out of content at this moment. So yeah, this is my version of what's on my phone or what's on my Android for the year 2020. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the firstly the phone that I'm using here is the Realme X2 Pro. Now it's been over two months since I've been using this phone and I still do stand by the statement that this phone is incredible value for money. Obviously it has got some of the stuff that you may not you know want to invest your money in like poor brand value, poor software and stuff but it's for the hardware that you're paying the price it's absolutely worth it and yeah I mean I've made like a few reviews about this phone you can just go ahead and watch if you're interested. So let's get started with the device itself. So firstly because as I said it, this phone has got poor software which means color OS which I'm not a fan of. So I'm using a custom launcher on top of uh, Android over here. That is launcher. Now I've already made a dedicated video on this like how to get this kind of look on your phone and all of that stuff like icon packs and, and the backup files and stuff. So you can go ahead and watch that links in the description. Uh, anyways let's get started with the apps that I use. First one is Netflix. Now I don't use Netflix that often to be honest. Uh, it's just something that I keep around uh, just in case uh, I'm in any sort of stress or I'm just loaded with work and I just want uh, that a little bit of escape. So in that case I use Netflix. I don't really get involved in a lot of series because series you know if you start watching then you just go on to binge watch and I've seen that I waste a lot of time so I, I do watch Netflix movies. And yeah, in most cases they are pretty great. Uh, some of them are bad, some of them are good, but you know, it's there. I don't use it that often because at this point I kind of enjoy making videos a lot more than, you know, spending time on games and movies and other entertainment factors. But nevertheless, Netflix is still there on my phone. Then we've got YouTube. You guys know about that. Instagram. So I've been pretty active on Instagram. If you don't really follow me yet on Instagram, just go ahead and follow me, uh, you know, uh, it's I use it quite a lot often and you know I post a lot of uh, behind the uh, scenes stuff or you know other stuff like uh, what's going on what uh, I'm going to introduce on the channel and what the next video is going to be about and all of that stuff in case you have got any doubts queries or if you want to talk to me 1v1 I'm pretty active in the Instagram DMs game as well so you can just go ahead and follow me on Instagram DM me say hi you know we can have a good talk over there. Next, I've got Spotify and I use Spotify as my go-to music player application. There are tons of uh, music applications out there, but the reason I use Spotify that much and I've been using this for a very long time, ever since it was launched, is because, you know, the recommendations that you get uh, if you are playing a certain genre of song, the re recommendation that you get after that song is done are pretty spot on, okay? Uh, that's this is arguably the best recommendations algorithm that I've seen in any application, be it YouTube or you know any application in general. It just gives you the music that you exactly need at the moment and that is the reason Spotify is so great. Besides the audio quality as well, it's pretty phenomenal. Then we've got Gmail and then there are some basic applications like phone, messages, Play Store, Chrome, camera. We are not going to talk about those. Now getting into the app drawer, I've got 1.1.1.1. So uh, it is basically an app that you know kind of controls your DNS. It sets it to 1.1.1.1. So 1.1.1.1 is basically a DNS server which is extremely fast and responsive. In general terms, you know it gives you a lot more stable and safer internet. Next, I've got AdSense. So here's where I kind of manage uh, all my YouTube money related stuff. So that's there. Then I've got Amazon, AMOLED Picks. Uh, Amulet Pix is a wallpaper application, one out of many that I've got on my phone and this app especially has been doing pretty great for me. Uh, I don't really use solely this app a lot of times but generally you know depending on my mood and the conditions I kind of use wallpapers from here. Then getting ahead we've got App Market, Asphalt 9 Legends, you know about this game, not going to talk. I don't play it but it's there. AZ screen recorder. So AZ screen recorder is my go-to screen recording application. It has been working pretty well for me. Then we've got backdrops. Uh, so backdrops is, um, you know, one of those wallpaper applications I mentioned earlier. So I use backdrops quite a lot often, but the only flaw that I found with backdrops was that 
generally this app has got kind of those repetitive wallpapers which i honestly don't like you know at this moment i've almost used 90% of their wallpapers and you know uh, there aren't really a lot of wallpapers that get to your device every single day using backdrop so you know but it's still there but when wallpapers arrive on this application they make sure that those are the best walls that you can get for your phone it is a pretty old application then i've got ba- browser the one from realme calculator calendar call of duty mobile now i don't as well play call of duty mobile that often occasionally when you know i just hang out with my friends i play call of duty mobile i'm not really a good player at it but i still play it uh, then i've got two camera applications first one is the stock camera app and uh, the second one is basically gcam now the gcam i'm using here is 6.2 by r nova and for the realme x2 pro this has been working phenomenally well so if in case you are interested i'll make sure to leave a link for this gcam in the description box below then next up we've got Ca- canon's camera connect so this is basically app lets me connect my dslr which is shooting this video to the phone and i can control a bunch of things import the footage and stuff you know so you know this is a utility if you are having a canon uh, camera then i've got chrome clock clone apps compass contacts contacts now two contacts one is from google one is from realme i use the one from google then we've got crispr now this is an interesting application this is not necessarily a purely wallpaper application it has got illustrations as well or these vectors as well uh, which have been working extremely well for me i mean you can customize these vectors and stuff but yeah it doubles up as a wallpaper application uh, you know the walls here have been extracted from pixels again the same story here as backdrops you know most of the wallpapers are repetitive but you know when wallpapers arrive on this app they make sure that those are some dope walls so you know overall the resolution of walls is high quality and a major reason here is because they have been extracted from pixels pixels is a place where a lot of professional photographers share their wallpapers or share their pictures or share their art for free so crispr is there then we've got delta delta is an icon pack and it's it's a good icon pack you should definitely try it out then i've got digi locker so here's where all my you know documents have been stored and like driving license and stuff uh, then i've got google drive facebook facebook i use facebook only for memes i don't use facebook for you know connecting to a lot of people and stuff just it's it's just for memes because the quality of memes on facebook is generally a little bit better than what you can find on instagram at least that's my opinion then i've got file manager app uh, the one from realme i don't use any third party file manager applications then i've got flipkart footage camera Uh, so footage camera is basically a camera app that lets you control a lot of things you on your own like this gives you manual control over video and all of that stuff then i've got game center game space gmail uh, google google pay and then hello uh, this is again an icon pack this definitely suits very limited uh, wallpapers but but you know it, it's still a good wall uh, icon pack i feel and so this is how the icons look They they are a little bit tinted to the oranges or pale yellowish side, so definitely it suits some wallpapers, not all. Then we have got Instagram. I told you about that. Keep Notes. Now Keep Notes is one of the most used applications on the phone, mainly because whenever I'm on the go and I get a video idea as such, so I write it down in the Keep Notes. And the best part about using any Google service is that uh, you know everything synchronizes pretty fluently uh, between your phone and your computer. So I kind of don't have my computer always with me so if in case I have to note anything I note it on my phone and keep notes application and then I synchronize the stuff on my PC and whenever I start working I get all of that stuff pretty much very well organized then I've got LastPass now LastPass is uh, my password manager now, I've been using LastPass uh, for a very long time it's been over 2 years or I guess then I've got Lightroom mobile uh, Lightroom is one of the applications that I use tremendously on my phone I was aware of this app for a very long time but I started using this app uh, since past 3 to 4 months and so far I've been getting like phenomenal results on this uh, application the you know freedom that you get to play across using uh, the colors or the color sliders that you get in Lightroom mobile is absolutely incredible and at this point because of this app I've reached a point where I don't need a PC or a laptop or Lightroom on PC or Photoshop to edit my pictures this app is so good it can just take your pictures to a whole new level if you want a tutorial on this you know um, just let me know in the comment section or in the poll right here and you know i'll just you know upload a video on how i edit these pictures and all of that stuff 
because I do get frequent DMs regarding photo editing and stuff. So, you know, I can do that. Lightroom Mobile has been my go-to editing application on this phone. Then I've got Google Maps, Medium. So Medium is a place where I read a lot of articles lately. This is basically an app where you can read a lot of articles and news and threads. Just in case you want to increase your intellect and stuff. Uh, it is an ad-free application and yeah, you should definitely try it out. Then I've got two messaging applications. One is from Realme, one is from Google, I use from Google. A third one is Messenger. So Messenger uh, has been linked to my Facebook, but I don't open Messenger. So you need to keep that in mind. If you have messaged me on Facebook, I don't open Messenger, you know. Facebook is a place where I told I go for memes, not to read your messages. If you've got any messages, DM me on Instagram or if you've got my WhatsApp number, just DM me over there or message me over there. Uh, then music application, I don't have any offline songs. Uh, the only audio files on this phone are my voice recordings, just like the one I'm doing right now. So, you know, I don't really open the music application because then I'm cluttered with my own voice, which I don't like to hear unedited. Then I've got Mintra, uh, again, Netflix, Google News, NordVPN. NordVPN is uh, the VPN application. I guess my account has been expired. So I don't use uh, NordVPN as well that much. Uh, there was a time when I used to use it quite a lot often because I was a lot more privacy conscious back then, but I'm not clearly right now. Then Nova Launcher, uh, currently I'm using Launcher, but I occasionally switch between Nova Launcher and this Launcher application. Uh, then I've got OLX, one tap lock screen, open camera. Open camera is yet another video recording or manual video recording uh, camera app. And this as well works pretty well, gives you all of that control that you need uh, on your exposure and all of that stuff. Then O-Roaming, it's some app from Realme. Then PES 2020, I used to play this uh, game a lot, but you know, recently it just got a lot more repetitive and it, it just got a lot more boring. There are no exciting events and stuff. So that is the reason I never play this game. You know, at this point, uh, this game has got like too easy and you know, it doesn't have a lot of things to play around with. So, you know, I hate this game right now, but it's still there because I've got my account, which is a pretty good account over there. Then uh, phone, phone again or phone manager again, photos, photos, Pixip icon pack, Pixip icon pack, this is yet another icon pack that I use quite a lot often. Uh, then we've got play games, play store, power shade. So power shade is a, a notification panel app, you know, that changes these custom skinned Android devices notification panel to a stock uh, one. And you know, for some reason, this is not working over here. I don't know what has happened. Next up is PUBG mobile. I don't play this game uh, that much. Cora, uh, Cora is a place where you know people share their experiences, or you know, digital writers exist on Cora, so you can learn a lot from Cora. So you know, I've been using Cora for past three years, and so far, this is arguably the best place to get knowledge in. Then Recforge. So Recforge is a, an audio recording application. It's better than those stock audio recorders because it comes with a lot of features. I might cover Recforge in some other video. But yeah, uh, if you're a YouTuber, you definitely need Recforge uh, as your audio recording application. Then I've got Reddit settings. Uh, Reddit, uh, obviously you guys might be knowing about that. It is an app of the famous Reddit website where people create threads. People have got communities. People post a lot of things, you know, are specific to their communities and stuff. Then sh settings, share me. Share me is the app from Xiaomi actually and I'm using this on a realme phone mainly because I hate share it share it as you guys probably know is a home to a lot of inappropriate ads which suck so that is the reason I don't want to use that app so that is the reason I'm using share me then I've got sim toolkit sim toolkit snapseed I don't use this app that often now because of its poor compression algorithm and it doesn't necessarily give you the freedom to play around with play, uh, with colors unlike Lightroom so that is the reason I don't use that often but occasionally I use Snapseed as well. Speed test, Spotify, Swiggy, Theme Center, Twitter. I'm not active on Twitter as such. I just follow like a few tech reviewers on you know Twitter because they are a lot more responsive over there. So that is the reason I've got Twitter. But if in case you guys want me to get on Twitter, reply to your tweets and stuff, and you know just level up the Twitter game a little bit, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm more than happy to, you know, level up my Twitter game, get a little bit more active on Twitter. But of course, it needs response from you guys as well. Then uh, I've got Unapp. So Unapp is a utility application according to me. It lets you uninstall all of the apps or 
the unnecessary apps that you have on phone so basically it will let you uninstall uh, the apps you no longer need in batch or in bulk so it has been working pretty well for me let let me just show you how this works um so for example i need to uninstall google news and as well so i've got two apps selected one is as for 9 and one is google news so when i hit uninstall it will just give me these pop ups and everything will be uninstalled so an app is for that stuff then i've got videos vlc vlc obviously supports some specific video formats and that is the reason i've got vlc on my phone wallpix this is yet another wallpaper application i i just this was just gifted to me from uh, the developer of this app when i had covered a uh, best android apps video so i've been using it and most of the wallpapers are pretty great and they you know do match my liking quite a lot so i've been using this not as much as i use crispr but it's still there on my uh, you know app drawer then i've got weather whatsapp wipro so wipro this is a you know next smartphone application so it basically lets me control the only smart device on my home, uh, in my home and that is this light behind the monitor i'm not sure if camera can capture it because it's daytime so i turned it off right now i turned it on i can manage the colors i'm not sure if camera is able to capture because it's daytime and the light is not really that much strong so i i manage it all from over here and uh, then going ahead i've got xda xda as you guys probably know it's a developers website and this is an app for that and i read a lot of threads on xda unfortunately the realme x2 pro doesn't have a lot of development support so you know xda is just one of the most unused apps on the phone then youtube yt music youtube studio now this is a place where i kind of manage my analytics and stuff um, at times it's a bit demotivating because the views and analytics on my channel are very poor then i've got chinese pubg i used it only once to test the 90 fps on this thing i've made a video on that you can watch that and i've got kf mark kf mark is an app that lets you monitor the fps on your phone it's not working on x2 pro for some unknown reason but it works on most phones so guys that was it uh, that was all about i had on my android phone um, now again just as i told this video was made out of requests so if you've got any special requests for me just do let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to fulfill that uh, by the end of this month or maybe next month uh because you know tech is kind of a lot more uh, unstable market right now you know, you know there are a lot of things coming on so i cannot predict if i will be able to you know pass on or make a video on your specific request but i try my level best so yeah that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching